Here's another superstar of the microscopic world known oh. as Spirogyra. Spirogyra? Spirogyra. And obviously the color gives you an indication, is it a plant or an animal? It's a plant. Right, and it's not moving either, right? No, okay. so it could be. Uh, well, the reason it's called a Spirogyra, oh, there's a little, did you see that little animal yes, that went swimming uh, by? Right okay. down at the bottom. I'm now focused on the top layer, and now I'll slowly go down through. Oh, it almost looks as if it's sort moving. Sort of like it's moving? Yeah. Okay. Now hold on a minute, I'll go to a little higher magnification because now you can see the, sp the spiral effect. Oh. There, oh, now really you see. that's really neat. Isn't that neat? Yeah. yeah. Notice, by the way, that little lump near the, near the bottom of the picture, that's the, the nucleus. See it down there? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the part of the plant that, that divides and uh, controls the plant. You can see the cell walls, too. Uh, certainly yes. the cell wall on the outside, but you see there's a line up above. See that line oh. up there? That's the edge of the cell. So then that's another reason why it's studied in botany, because the cells are very distinct and, uh, and it's very pretty. And it oh, has a very yeah. nice name, Spirogyra. Spirogyra. And you can see why it's called that, because it spirals away. Yeah.